hello guys welcome back to another chess video this is amit here and uh, today i'll be explaining about a game played by morphy and marash marash was with the white pieces and uh, he goes for uh, the ivan's gambit and uh, uh, he actually in the ending when uh, uh, he actually uh, paul morphy actually gives away his queen and uh, mates with uh, two knights only uh, it is a very interesting position watch till the end so that uh, you get to enjoy the position uh, let's begin the game uh, white plays e4 e5 uh, morphy is black and he plays e5 nf3 and c6 bishop c4 bishop c5 b4 e, which is the ivan's gambit and uh, morphy accepts the gambit and uh, player takes the pawn as well so e5 uh, here uh, uh, morphy plays d5 and uh, he opens up his bishop and uh, takes the pawn now castle and uh, here knight f knight g e7 is played because uh, if knight f6 is played then rook e1 check and either the bishop has to come on e6 or uh, the knight has to come on the e7 come back on e7 so if knight come back on e7 then queen e2 will be played and uh, the king cannot castle so uh, if uh, bishop is played on the e6 square and then uh, bishop takes bishop pawn takes bishop and uh, queen e2 and double attacking the uh, bishop will happen so instead of that he played uh, um, knight e7 so white plays ng5 attacking the f7 pawn twice and castles bishop d3 attacking the h7 square and uh, here uh, black plays uh, bishop f5 uh, trying to exchange of the attacking bishop on the d3 square uh, marash actually found a move where uh, now he can gain uh, material for uh, rook so he actually gives away uh, the bishop for a knight for a rook so he gets to know about it but um, Paul Murphy uh, has analyzed much further and uh, keeping activity in mind he gives away the rook as well so he takes takes bishop a3 queen g6 bishop takes f8 queen takes g5 and uh, here uh, black white gets his bishop back and uh, here in this position you can see that uh, paul Murphy gained two pawns and a knight for a uh, rook so uh, he is actually up um, uh, equal in material but uh, has more activity his both the knights and the bishop are uh, active and uh, whereas if you compare the white pieces uh, the knight is still at home and bishop also will be bishop also is at home so uh, he doesn't have much uh, of an activity here so all the pieces are in their home position only whereas if you consider the black pieces they are much more active so he plays bishop f4 rook comes to the open file now queen e2 is played now attacking the queen and queen moves to e4 square now here if you consider this position black has an excellent move in his mind which is uh, in order to make the black king the queen on uh, e4 is actually uh, very much open to threat and he plays the move knight to g3 so knight to g3 is a move where uh, uh, his knight g3 is covering the h1 square and the knight on the d4 square is ready to give check and made the white king so here if uh, white uh, takes the queen then knight e2 is a mate if white doesn't take the queen and uh, takes the knight then the queen will fall so but in the game actually he takes the queen and uh, knight e2 was mated uh, and uh, marash was mated uh, by paul murphy so 
Paul Murphy was black and uh, he mated uh, Marash. So hope you like this video. If you like this uh, mating net, which was a bit different from the usual mating net, please like this video and share and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet. In order and uh, press the bell icon if you want to get notified further of my videos. Thank you.